are, they are Jews. They are Hebrews. They are black Hebrews. The, the first invasion took place, uh, was carried out by the Assyrians, led by a king called the Pekin. That was centuries, 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 centuries ago. Good morning, Dr. Michael. Good morning. This is Nigerian center. Let us look at the origin of uh, Biafra. This are this from archaeological point of view. We understand that sometime in 2015 or so, some scientists from Israel came to the eastern part of the country to do DNA. I think in Norwich specifically. So, and um, it's understandable that the Hebrews are Jews. So, are there some archaeological. They are Jews. They are Hebrews. They are black Hebrews. The, the first invasion took place, uh, was carried out by the Assyrians, led by a king called the Peking. That was centuries, 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 centuries ago. Even the, before the existence of Zoroaster, before the, the, the coming of uh, uh, Nimrod, before the coming of Nebuchadnezzar. I'm talking about years, centuries, the beginning as early as the invasion was carried out by the Assyrians. And if you look at the, that invasion as at that time, you discover that that was the beginning of the break of Israel. The northern Israel, the Samaritan Israel, and the Judah Israel. They break into pieces. They run everybody scattered, you know? And that was why you begin to talk about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abad, you begin to talk about the Daniel, then, you know, going to Israel and all that. And the revelation that followed, they came subsequently, you know? So, the issue of the uh, uh, um, um, uh, 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 scattering of the Jews as at that time would have led to what we call a place called the Ibu by a, a man the first son, God, God has been proclaimed in, in the Bible was the fourth son of Joseph the Jacob the fourth son and God, look at God very well God gave uh, 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 that people believed, a lot of people have traced that genealogy and it's connected. Let me tell you, it's not about what the British or the recent DNA said. I'm talking about the ancient history that had to do with three prominent navigators of Portuguese extraction. Well, from the archaeological point of view, and yes. things that can be dug out of the ground, are there some uh, archaeological um, evidence that prove that the Igbos are Jews? Yes, if you look at them, they will not tell you the secret. They have, having been in, in the kingdom, you know, when uh, the former Super Eagles uh, uh, player, striker, eh, was uh, um, um, burying his father, you know, uh, I'm talking about Emmanuel Amunike, Emmanuel, not Amunike, Emmanuel Emmanuel. I was one of the people that was privileged, you know, to have close contact uh, with the people from the ancestral home of Umri. If you, if you enter here today, you will see the logo in the houses. Yes, the Israeli logo, as, as at the beginning. And there is this speculation that the skull of Jeremiah is still being held somewhere in it. I'm talking about Jeremiah in the Bible. I'm not talking about Jeremiah, I'm talking about Ezra. The skull as the symbol of connection between the the, the, the generation and of course the 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 the, 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 the Jews the the the, the God. So the symbol you're talking about that is an Uri. I'm talking the about the skull. I, no, 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 I'm just making only one reference. I'm not talking about the culture. I'm not. I'm not talking about you know what they they, they carried like the issue of circumcision. We're talking it's not about circumcision at have to do with the Jew. Uh, oh, of course, man. Uh, if you look at what uh, the, the, the Bible talked about, you know, that uh, uh, told Abraham, you know, uh, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a covenant, you know, between him and... and circumcised. Uh, yes, to circumcise. When the ancient men came, the Hebrews, the Biafras, as at that time, they are the only people that, that were found performing circumcision. Without white man's knowledge, without white man's influence, without white man's knowledge, without white man's teaching, without white man's input, the that, 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 that is one. That is one. That is a, 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 a direct instruction from God Himself. So they maintain that culture to 
to show that this is where we are coming from. Not only that one, the Afro AK Unko Ori, the former K days. If you go to the Jewish calendar, you we'll still see it that way. So I mean the Igbos maintain the same calendar with the Jewish. Yeah, tomorrow I'm the same culture like Kola. In Israel, you don't just come and break Kola. You know? That's what they call migration. It is still happens in Israel. It's a culture in Israel. If you go to a, a, a tribe called the Nim in Israel, go ask someone going of any state tomorrow came the money. When you really told you about the, the what Nim stood for, how Nim was one of the remnants of God, Titoro. And how people like Benjamin Natayahu, who is Nata Anna, that Nata Anna, you see, when you begin to chi, chi, if you look at what is there, find out the meaning of chi, chi, you know, the same to the chi we call in Ibo land, you begin to see so many similarities telling you that the ancient black blacks, the ancient Hebrews, we are blacks. That is understood. Look at the general what was written about with Mustin. Mushi is a black Jew. They, he was able to trace a lot of them like that. So the connection is there. The culture is pointing towards that direction. Then we're not talking about the ingenuity and the republican nature of the Jewish kingdom. It is in the DNA. The first legal list of livelihood that was endorsed and mentioned in the Bible was spread. Church was a result of an autonomous government. Government came from church. The system of government, Senate, presidency, and the seat of the Senate, it came from the church. And who are the church? Who has established the church? So, church is the offshoot of government. Government came from the church. So, the, whatever they do within that circle is no longer business. Because the first thing that was established in our earth was the church, not the government. That is the truth. Then we begin to talk about, you know, um, the, 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 the relationship between the Igbo, where they come from. And they have maintained it. Not only that, let me tell you, the three Portuguese missionaries that were the first to step their leg in West Africa discovered that these people in this part of the eastern central states, when I mean by the eastern central states, have the same culture with the ancient Jews of Israel. It's, that is where the whole thing started. Not even them that's coming to say, but when they dive deep, the more they discover that the, the God, they left Israel with a symbol of who they are, with the score of their progenitors. And one of them is Ezra in the Bible and Jeremiah in the Bible. The score is not something that, that can be discovered, disclosed in the public like this. But I have to tell you, you know, for you to understand that it is not just mouth. Let me tell you about generation DNA, because that's where we are going to, we are also heading to, when we talk about DNA. Let me give you a brief history about the Obosi in uh, in, 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 in Anambra State, you know, and uh, the, 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 the Obosi in, in Kogi, and the Obosi in Benue, and the Obosi, uh, uh, there's another one, the, the, uh, I, uh, uh, is it in the or there about, there's this, how they normally put it down, if I can remember, I will put that on, on air too. It's Iweka. We call it Upper Iweka. What Upper Iweka you are seeing is not an number of man. You know? How do you know? The Upper Iweka, you know, there's Upper Iweka, Upper Iweka, Upper Iweka. Is Upper Iweka an number of man? 
tell us more about it. That's what I'm talking, talking about. As a result of what they call culturalization. Like for instance now, if you move from Kogi State to Anambra, do you know after 10, 30, 50 years, there's every possibility that you will become an Anambrian. You forget your language, you forget everything about where you come from, and you become, you have to start behaving like those people. That is how it is. The present day governor of Edo State, his grandfather, he is from Anambra State. He migrated, I'm talking about Baseki. He migrated. 